What's up ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between, Hooker here, and today I'm going to show you how to get rid of this pesky air, the secure boot violation. So if you're seeing this page right now, the first thing that you're going to do is just press enter and that will restart your computer. Once the computer's restarted, we're going to go to the BIOS menu by hitting the escape key repeatedly. Once your startup menu has been prompted, we're going to take our Windows 7 CD and we're going to stick it inside our computer. Now we're going to press F10. All right. Now, once we're in the bio setup menu, using the arrow keys, we're going to go right over to security, go down to secure boot configuration. Using the keyboard, we're going to press enter. It's going to prompt secure boot configuration. We're going to hit F10 to accept. Once we do that, it's going to give us another menu. You're going to see legacy support and secure boot. We're going to go down to secure boot, press right on the keyboard to disable that. Once we did that, we're going to go up to legacy support and we're going to enable that. The reason we need to enable legacy support is because it'll allow us to install older software like Windows 7 into this computer. Once we did that, we're going to press F10 to accept. Go over to File and save, change, and exit. Yes. Once it does that, the computer is going to restart and it's going to prompt up operating system boot mode. Now we need to enter in this code in order to finish the secure boot mode change. So we're just going to press. 7086 or whatever number prompts you on the keyboard. 7086. Once we did that, we're going to press enter. All right, so once the computer starts to restart, we're going to just press the F9 key. The F9, F9 key is going to let us select what to boot off of. So I'm going to go down to UEFI HP. CD-ROM and hit enter. Now it's going to boot off the CD. And there we go. Just hit any key and it should start the Windows 7 installation. We're just going to hit enter. All right, and now Windows 7 should be starting up. Now, if it freezes on the startup, it's because you did not enable the legacy. It's crucial that you do that, or else you're not gonna make it this far. All right, now that we have Windows 7 up, we're gonna go down to Next, Install Now, All right, you're gonna see uh, the license window comes up. You're gonna go down to the bottom and hit accept. Now click next. From next, you can either upgrade or do a custom installation. We're gonna do custom. These are all the partitions. So we have the recovery partition in the bottom. This is what has the original drivers on it and the original Windows 10. This is the only thing that we are not gonna delete. But everything else, we're gonna get rid of. The system, this partition two, three with Windows, and four. But do not delete the recovery. This is for in the future, in case they don't have a computer tech, they can go in there and recover the computer and bring it back to its original factory standards. I'm actually going to go to the partition one. 
I'm gonna delete that too, so I can get rid of all these partitions. And that won't delete the recovery partition, because it's secured. Alright, so now we got rid of all those other partitions, because I like everything nice and neat. And we're gonna go to our main partition. This is where all our information is gonna get stored on and all in our new uh, operating system. And we're gonna go to next. And now it's gonna start installing Windows 7. All right, this is gonna take a little bit. We'll come back when this is done. All right, once after many restarts and a lot of blinking, it's gonna prompt you to that screen. All right, so my client's name is Mike, so that's what we're gonna enter in. And if you don't have a mouse, which I detached mine for the second, we're just gonna hit enter on the keypad, on the mouse pad. And then we're gonna hit next. Let's just see a little bit. See you later. Eastern. And there we go. The final phase of the installation is being completed. Congratulations. You now just put Windows 7 on your Windows 10 machine. You should be proud of yourself if you made it this far. If you didn't, go check out some of my other videos that might be able to help you out with this. So we're going to go to the first partition. We're going to go to driver option, advance. And we're going to delete this. It's going to bring up a warning. And we're going to hit yes. Now that's gone. We're going to go to partition one and delete that. And hit okay. We're going to go to partition one again. And this is the hard drive with Windows 10 on it. You can tell because it we're says up. gigabytes behind we're it gonna and go everything over to else storage. says megabytes. With the exception of the recovery From storage, drive, we're, we're going to go down to boot order gigabytes and press enter. Or, so. Then we're going to go down. All right, and now we're just gonna go over to file, go all the way down to save and exit, and press enter, and hit yes. Now the computer is going to restart and we're going to be allowed to boot off our CD. So now that this window XP is restarting, I'm going to prompt the BIOS menu by hitting the escape key repeatedly. I'm going to go down to the F10 key and prompt the BIOS. Once the BIOS is prompt, I'm gonna go to security. And I'm by using the arrow keys, keys on the keyboard. From security, 
I'm going to go down to Secure Boot Configuration. Hit Enter. It's going to give us a warning. And we're just going to go down to F10 and hit Accept. Once you hit Accept, hit F10 again for Accept. Go over to... Go over to File and save, change, and exit. F9. Yes. Now the computer is going to restart and we're going to be allowed to boot off our CD.